Yakuza are known for being, in most part, a domestic type of organized crime syndicate. However, despite the fact that majority of their operations take place within Japan, there is a significant activity in countries like Thailand, Philippines, Vietnam, South Korea, China and US. Connections between Yakuza and Southeast Asia can be found pretty easily, so this time we'll focus on collaboration that gets less attention when it comes to media coverage. More specifically, connection between Yakuza and Russian Mafia. The most active period of collaboration was back in 90s, right after the collapse of Soviet Union. The collapse has brought a significant instability within Russia, which led to increase of organized crime. After all, country was pulled into different directions and had no idea what to do next in order to sort domestic problems. And in situations like that, you always have at least a few people that would like to use such opportunity. Due to being in a cold war, Russia ended up with not only too many poor people, but also too many weapons. Meanwhile, on the other side of the country, there was a neighbor that was economically advanced but heavily regulated when it came to weapons. Japan So, Russia ended up selling a surplus of weapons to Japan, while Japan was gladly buying heavier Soviet arms in order to get ready for domestic turf wars against their rivals. It is said that these weapons were one of the reasons why turf wars were more violent than they would have been if Russian criminals were not supplying Yakuza. Then, both sides decided to participate in drug trade. If you already sell weapons, why not trade drugs as well, right? No. Wrong. Don't do it. Drugs are bad. Anyway, methamphetamine became a particularly popular drug in Japan and one of the reasons behind it is that Russia's bad guys had control over smuggling routes in both Central Asia and Eastern Europe, which was helpful in delivering goods, or should I say bads, into Japan. But it wasn't a one-way traffic. Due to Yakuza having deep roots in legal businesses such as construction and entertainment, all necessary conditions for money laundering were already there. Yakuza, with the help of their influence and access to legitimate businesses, helped Russian Mafia to, so to speak, legalize their money using luxury goods such as jewelry, electronics and cars. Thanks to the fall of Soviet Union, Russian criminals had access to a variety of luxury cars from Europe. Cars that were eventually delivered to Japan. Cars that, due to Yakuza connections, bypassed import restrictions and were sold for much more within Japan. There were also many cases of trafficking, namely smuggling Eastern European women to Japan and making them work in the adult industry, more specifically brothels and hostess clubs. Have you heard any stories about the connection between Japanese Yakuza and Russian Mafia? Let me know in the comment section down below. Peace.